this just in, encryption is evil and no one should have private data. Or at least that's what the Earn It Act says. Let's talk about that. Before we get into the topic of why you clicked on this video, first things first, do you know what section 230 of the Communications Decency Act is? Probably not because that sounds really boring, but it's a wonderful little thing that protects online platforms from being sued because of something a user does. If tomorrow I started uploading every Fast and Furious movie, geez, that's a lot, to a video site, that movie company could sue me, but not the place I posted them. Without this protection in place, uh, platforms like Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, CoolMathGames.com all would be held accountable every time a user does something like this. It seems like a wonderful little thing that honestly no online platform could reliably work without. So of course the government is threatening to remove it. The Earn It Act is an amendment proposed and states that interactive service providers would be required to comply with best practices. These best practices designed to protect children and would comply tech companies to institute broad reaching censorship protocols and practices on their platforms in order to protect themselves from liability. Seems fair on the surface, right? Play nice, follow the rules, moderate your content, and we'll make sure you don't get sued into the ground. Ha ha ha, well no. Part of these best practices is to remove encryption. That's right, if the government can't have a backdoor to all your private encrypted data, then they're gonna hold all these interactive service providers accountable every time a user threatens violence, uploads a movie, or even just says something crazy like, I think the world is flat. No, it's not, and now Twitter has to shut down because of tweets like yours. And of course, that leaves them with a decision. Either compromise everyone's private encrypted data, or censor like 90% of all tweets. And this isn't just limited to social media. Games, uh, cloud services, email, basically every communication and data storage tool that we humans use online is gonna fall under this bill. They're acting like those parents that say, oh, you don't have to share your diary with us, but as long as you don't, you're living outside. And if that wasn't bad enough, this metaphorical family lives in Alaska. In winter. Encryption is the only way to ensure privacy and security on the internet. Without encryption, online platforms would not be able to ensure safety for anyone. Although encryption is worthless if an outside entity, like a random government guy, has a key to get in. And just because they say they can keep a key safe doesn't mean that hackers can't exploit a system that has random keys laying around that let you get into any conversation. It would be like giving every friend and family member a copy of your car key and then saying, don't use this, but then turning around and boasting about how cool your flashy Tesla is. Of course, someone's going to drive it at, and, and it's probably gonna be your cousin Robert because he's gonna give his key to his bro squad. Besides, do we really trust the government to keep track of a master password? In the 60s, the launch code for 50 nuclear missiles was zero eight times for 20 years. Even one, two, three, four, five would emit a better password than that. Don't get me wrong. We all wanna make sure the internet is a safe place and we wanna protect the children that are on these platforms. But it's hard to say if this amendment would even work. It's very vague in what it says and I believe that mostly stems from the fact that its true objective is to get past encryption to get personal info from the users on these platforms. And yes, that includes things like Bitcoin passwords, company documents, uh, private photos, those Taylor Swift tickets you've been trying to keep on the down low because while your daughter's no longer a fan, you've been shaking off those haters since 2014. And it's not just random people on the internet who oppose it. Uh, the Human Rights Watch, the Brookings Institution, the Stanford Law School for Internet and Society, the Center for Democracy and Technology, the Electronic Frontier Foundation, and every day, more and more people are coming out and opposing the Earn It Act, saying it not only will fail to accomplish its goal of protecting children, but will decimate what little internet privacy we have. You're probably wondering what happens if it passes. Well, I really, 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 really hope it doesn't. But if it does, every service you use to communicate or upload is going to be required to hand over everything to the government whenever they request it. And if they choose not to, then any Joe Schmo with a computer in a Disney movie waiting to be uploaded could bring down the whole platform. 
and they will find a way to make the mouse glove fit in court if it means they can make money or kill a competitor. Well, if you've made it this far, you're probably wondering, how can I help? Well, if you're a high-ranking government official, hit me up on SenseChat. Otherwise, the best thing you can do is spread the word around. Make sure people know that this is going on and they're not getting misinformed. Use your voice. The more people that know about this, the higher chance we have at stopping it. Oh, and uh, write to your senators. Uh, a link will be in the description showing you how to do that. Speaking about the description, down below you'll find links to all of our social pages. Please consider giving them a look. It's not just Sense Chat stuff. We like to make sure that everyone is staying up to date on everything relevant to this giant tech sphere that is the internet. Also consider subscribing to this YouTube channel if you haven't already. We have many more helpful, wonderful, awesome videos coming out very soon. And until then, I'll be chatting on Sense Chat. Bye.